friends, hello. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. My name is Nicole and we are well about to be a family of nine. So by the time this food gets used, we will be a family of nine, which is very exciting. So um, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. I actually went up to Phoenix, which is about an hour and a half away from me. And I did kind of like some whole, wholesale buying on uh, produce. And then I went to Aldi, which we don't have one of those here. So that was fun. And then uh, I just stopped at Costco because it was on the way back. Uh, but we do have Costco's where I'm at. So um, I'll turn you guys around and show you everything that I got and tell you uh, how much I spent. It was a lot. So <laughs> here we go. All right, I'm gonna start down here. This is all the um, wholesale produce that I purchased. So it's a place called um, Superstition Ranch, I believe, um, in Mesa. So uh, the prices, again, I'll have them listed off the top of my head, I don't know. But I um, got a huge case of red delicious apples over here. A uh, big full case of nice green bananas. Got some strawberries. Eight packs of those. They look so good. And they smell absolutely delicious. And then this is a bundle of pears. A big bag here. And I definitely got to get them um, canned up. I have a kiddo that eats like two um cans a day of these pears so she ate through them pretty quickly so i got another case for her and then this one is i believe these yeah these are fuji apples they are humongous um but it is nice and chilly here where we are so i can store them in my garage and both packs of apples actually should last quite some time so yeah i'm counting these and then these are green right now. We'll eat some when they turn yellow, but the rest, as soon as they get kind of yellow with brown spots, then I'm gonna peel them and I'm gonna put them in the freezer. So we have a ton of bananas for banana bread and smoothies. And then got a case of blackberries, which also looked very good. So there's 12, yeah, 12 of those in there. And then this big giant box, I haven't opened it, but I believe it's sweet potatoes. Whoops, yeah. So huge box of sweet potatoes. I don't have any idea how much, how many sweet potatoes, but it's that big of a box, so. And then this one is Yukon Gold Potatoes. Equally heavy, oh, 50 pounds. So that could be, and maybe 30, something like that. But this is 50 pounds of potatoes. And then, cauliflower so I got cauliflower and I got broccoli and for this I am going to cut it up and then I'm going to seal it in my food saver right there and freeze it yeah that's going to be awesome we are out of all of my homemade spaghetti sauce so picked up a case of Roma tomatoes I actually thought I picked another thing of tomatoes but I guess not so just one case but that's fine it'll get us It'll get us some spaghetti sauce. And then I have one kiddo in particular who loves pomegranates. I don't think you will believe how inexpensive these were, um, but I believe less than 50 cents a piece for each one. And I know in the stores right now, they're like $2 a piece. And there is 30, yeah. And then this one is broccoli crowns, which they keep on ice. As you can see, so it's in a plastic bag because I had to drive home with it. And so I think, yeah, that's everything for the big bulk. And uh, what I spent on this was like, I think $286 or $60, something like that. I'll put it on the, um, on the screen, but something like that. And then moving on, these, couple of items were actually in, they had a store inside so I picked up a few things um, actually I got that at Aldi <laughs> I didn't get that there um, these 
I haven't seen them before, extra wide egg noodles, but they're like flat, not curved, and I make a lot of soup, so egg noodles are really good for that. And then one of my kiddos loves this Crave stuff, um, and these were two for five dollars, so two fifty a pack. And then cranberries were fifty cents a pack, um, super cheap. And obviously, it don't—it's not like cranberry season or anything. But you can just take these packs and throw them right in the freezer, and use them when you want. I like to make cranberry juice with them, um, but I also want to make probably some like cranberry relish, different things like that. This was something I saw there. Um, it was two for five dollars for nutritional yeast. It's a good um, like Parmesan cheese kind of substitute, if you will. Um, if you're vegan or you know um, not eating dairy products, this is really good for that. Um, it's really good in making sauces for pastas as well so i got two of those and then my mom only wanted one oh the cranberries it's like a massacre um <laughs> she only wanted one butternut squash and this was like i think they were like 60 cents a pound or something so very inexpensive uh there and i believe i might find something else but i believe that's what i got from that little store and then Costco picked up seaweed. Another one of my kiddos um, eats almost every day a thing of seaweed and then the um, the microwave rice. And so I got her some rice too, which you'll see. This is my youngest. She's three. Um, her favorite thing right now is these little muffins. And she is autistic and doesn't have a very big... Um, variety of food that she actually eats and this is one of those things so I gotta always keep that in stock this is another thing that she will eat which is amazing I know um because <laughs> not a lot of kids will eat this but chicken salad so I just take a can mix it with some mayonnaise salt and pepper sometimes she'll eat it just like that or she wants it on a sandwich so I always have to keep her bread on hand too but I got some of that already so we got that for her, 12 cans there. I was not sure if we were almost out of this or not, but um, I just picked it up because, I, again, I wasn't sure. This I know we're almost out of, um, one of the supplements I give everybody. Stocked up on bacon, so this is eight total um, things of bacon. I think this one was like, yeah, lower sodium and sugar-free, so I don't know, a little bit better, I guess. And then this one was on sale, 52 packs of oatmeal. We got a lot of oatmeal eaters in the house. And uh, so I wanna keep that on hand. Parchment paper, um, I use this all the time and I'm almost out of it. So got that. Uh, gallon freezer bags we are out of. Plus I got a lot of meat that's in my sink over there that I'll show you guys um, that I'm gonna be separating up and putting in this. And then, we are out of just regular chicken nuggets, so I grabbed those for the kids. And then these were on sale, which was very exciting for me, at less than a dollar a piece, which I always love. Um, just these little quick breakfast sandwiches when we are in a hurry. Um, any of us, oh, it is so dark, sorry. Okay, we'll I'll just show you this one, and it'll be totally blown out, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but I, I don't know if I finished what I was saying, but those are just, amazing to have on hand for super quick breakfasts or snacks and then from costco sorry guys the sun is literally right behind me um this uh pack lunches for kids to go to school and um i did do the 100 percent juice this time and then propel i've got a couple sick kiddos and um i really like this because it's got the electrolytes in it it doesn't have any dyes um, which I really appreciate and one of my six kiddos sick kiddos actually really really likes this and um, I also all right these I grabbed at Aldi but just while we're on the electrolyte um, this one I don't know kiwi strawberry I think does it say right there yeah and then um, berry here and that's not real don't worry uh, let's see um, oh I grabbed this <laughs> I was hungry and this is what I ate uh, on the ride home. I ate that much, so don't judge me. It was very good. Okay, 
Uh, moving on, don't let me forget that there's meat in the sink and I'll show you that if I come back to it. Um, so the rest is Aldi. Aldi is such a cute store, I love it. I wish we had one where we are at, but we don't. Um, so they have these for $1.39, which is actually the least expensive that I have um, ever seen these, but this is what my one kiddo uses with the um, seaweed over there. So she heats up one of those, has the seaweed, and it's like something that, um, I don't know, she loves. And then my mom has been on kind of a dried fruit kick, so just grabbed her little bag of those. And <laughs> it's so silly. Um, we were out of tomato paste and happened to see them there. I could have got a Costco size, but we don't use it too often. So just grabbed uh, four little cans of that. And this was mm -hmm. exciting. You guys will have to let me know if this is like um, always at Aldi or not. This was looked really good. Spinach and cheese manicotti. I know that sun is just a mess right now. Um, but yeah, it was in like the uh, refrigerator section. And I think there's 10 um, pieces in there. So I, I thought that was really exciting. I like manicotti, but it is not fun to make. So, and then again, I got those there. They had um, original sausage. It was on a good deal breakfast sausage. So I'll just toss these with the bacon into the freezer. Speaking of sausage, these were a smoking deal hot pork sausage. These were 99 cents a piece. Um, probably because of sell by date, you can't see it, but it is uh, January 2024. So I gotta get those in the freezer. And then these were like $1.67, I think. So just regular, so I grab six of each of those. These I need to desperately get in the freezer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I got these for the baby because she is one of the other kiddos that is sick right now. So just some frozen popsicles for her. And uh, their cheese was actually on a really good deal. So I got some, there's so much light happening. Hold on. Sorry guys. I fixed it for you. So um, grabbed a pound of Monterey Jack and a Colby Jack. And then... I saw this. It was such a good price. It was like $3. I thought that was crazy. Um, so New York white cheddar cheese. I've actually never had white cheddar, but I'm excited for that. And then this is uh, just Parmesan. I like freshly shredded Parmesan when I make pasta. Um, my mom has been making homemade hummus and eating that with um, like one whole bell pepper for a snack uh, at work. So grabbed her two packs of these. She asked, sorry, I'm not even looking. <laughs> she asked for some vanilla oat creamer. So grabbed her that, picked up a bag of spinach, um, hoping to make some egg bites, but I I have a lot of projects, okay? I'm wishful thinking, we'll see. Um, and then I got just a thing of cottage cheese. Um, I wanna put this in, um, some egg bites. I heard if you mix the cottage cheese with the eggs like in a blender, then you don't have the chunks of the cottage cheese and it really ups the protein. So that, that would be a good snack for me, her breakfast. And then my mom is doing um, vegan, she's back to vegan stuff again. So this was a really good price, like a dollar something for organic uh, firm tofu. Can, a lot of times you can get soft tofu for a good price. Um, but not usually the firm. So um, she's been making some recipes with that. And then I already showed you this, one of the kiddos who is um, moving in here shortly, which just, you know, stick around on my channel. You'll figure out, you'll see what all of that is about. But um, she likes this Arizona uh, green tea with honey. So I thought this was a pretty good price, but I don't usually buy it. So I actually don't know. Hopefully it was a good price. So that is everything there. Then lastly, the meat. Um, I grabbed two big bundles of these from Costco. This is definitely not the best price. It's $4.19 a pound for $88.12. Um, I don't know. I didn't think it was too good of a price, but um, I need to be making for such a big family, uh, putting like two pounds in a bag, and that way that's enough to feed everybody. So 
got that going. That's dinner and dishes for tonight. That's for another day. <laughs> and then I grabbed a big old bag, 10 pounds of chicken breasts. I know these are not like quality at all, but I can put them in the gallon bags for however many pieces I need. And I do really appreciate that. And I appreciate the price. And then these ones are chicken thighs that are frozen. And I think it's six and a half pounds. Yeah. So six and a half pounds of that. And I believe you guys, that's everything. Okay, friends. Well, that's it. That went by really quickly for the amount of money I spent the hour and a half drive there and back, so three hours, all of the shopping, all of that, to show it to you in a matter of a few minutes. So you're welcome. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna see what I am gonna do with all of this stuff, I'd love it if you stick around, hit that subscribe button. Feel free to leave me a comment. I love saying hi to you guys in the comment sections. And um, I will leave like the totals here for you somewhere as I'm doing this. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.